Dear researchers, I welcome you to the module on interdisciplinary research design. I am Devdula Saha, teaching at the Center for Labor Studies and Social Protection in the School of Social Sciences and Humanities at the Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Guwahati Campus, Assam. The main objective of this module is to discuss advantages of integrating different disciplines in social science research. A discipline is a branch of knowledge, instruction, and learning. Examples include history, economics, sociology, political science, anthropology, architecture, biology, and engineering, among others. Certain theories, techniques, and methodologies are developed around these subject matters. Therefore, emerging a discipline is a historical process. Key concepts are developed in the body of knowledge on the subject. A discipline is held together by a shared epistemology that is assumptions about the nature of knowledge and acceptable ways of accumulating knowledge. For example, principles of economics are different from the discipline of sociology because of differences in their theories of instruction and learning. This is how different departments in universities and institutes are established in knowledge creation. Each discipline has its own assumptions, principles and objectives. It is expected, for example, that a student be a master of a specific discipline in order to obtain an institutional degree. However, it is sometimes difficult to understand real-world situations and human behaviors from single disciplinary lens. It is more prominent in social science disciplines wherein society, economy, polity and humans are used as laboratories which are dynamic in nature. We have to agree that over time society has transformed from homogeneity to heterogeneity. It becomes difficult to address complex questions of human behavior and multi-layered social reality of social science through a single disciplinary lens. In this regard, there are different methods and methodologies that have been emerging as new approaches to understanding heterogeneity and examining multi-layered social science. Contemporary development processes are complex and challenging, which calls for various specialists with diverse background in both the natural and social sciences to understand the lines of inquiry. There are growing efforts to introduce new approaches and different methods to address various complex phenomena of social reality. The three most celebrated modes that have grown organically in research and academia in last couple of decades are multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, and transdisciplinary. All three of these approaches are widely applied in natural and social science research. They serve specific purposes but function quite differently. However, multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary, and transdisciplinary are often commonly used interchangeably. Nevertheless, they are distinct approaches. Therefore, it is important to take a closer look at what these approaches offer in order to understand the challenges associated with the research before putting the emphasis on one single discipline. Let us begin with multidisciplinarity. The term multidisciplinary refers to knowledge that is drawn from diverse disciplines, but the research questions and methods stay within the distinct boundaries of each discipline. Multidisciplinary research employs an additive approach in which different disciplines converse with each other. These disciplines interact independently, yet sequentially contribute their particular perspective to study of a topic of shared interest. As a result, multiple conceptual theoretical empirical structures are developed and used to guide the research. In practice, in multidisciplinary research, a collaborative team of researchers from different disciplines examines the same broad research question. They may come together at various points in the research process. However, for the most part, they examine a similar topic of interest from their own disciplinary lens. They arrive at their own conclusions and disseminate their results. The disciplines may come together at the end to synthesize their individualized results, but they do not synergize with each other. Furthermore, they are not necessarily integrated. In case of transdisciplinary research, disciplines move out from the boundaries of their own discipline and create their own space. The goal of this mode is to truly blend different perspectives to understand scientific questions 
and problems in their complexity rather than just address each of the questions. Therefore, researchers must communicate and share knowledge and agree on research designs and analysis. Researchers must mutually respect each other's disciplines and value the individual contributions in order to address multiple problems and find solutions. Researchers must also be allowed to cross their intellectual boundary into other disciplines. The term interdisciplinary refer to analysis, synthesize, and integration of links between disciplines into a coordinated and coherent whole. Interdisciplinary research involves an integrative and reciprocally interactive approach that synthesizes diverse disciplinary perspectives, leading to a new level of thinking about and studying of a topic or potentially even leading to a new discipline. Two or more disciplines mutually conduct research guided by a shared conceptual, theoretical, empirical structure that reflects a blurring of disciplinary boundaries in the integration of the conceptual, theoretical, and empirical perspectives of each involved discipline. Within interdisciplinary research, conversation between disciplines becomes intense, considering each other's perspectives and comparing results through a transfer of knowledge across disciplines. This process may lead to the creation of an entirely new discipline or scientific inquiry. Economic sociology, social psychology, political ecology, and others have emerged as such outcomes. Interestingly, Bernard C. K. Choi and Anita W. P. Park in their publication in 2006 linked these three modes and used food as an analogy to describe the differences. Multidisciplinarity is linked to a salad in which different foods come together and maintain distinct identity and taste, whereas transdisciplinarity is referred to as a cake in which ingredients are combined, but the final product is something completely new and the ingredients are indistinguishable. Lastly, interdisciplinarity is referred to as a melting pot, like a stew, in which components are merged to create something different, but we can identify individual ingredients. All three of these approaches are additive, interactive, and holistic at one or another stage of research. Comparing these three approaches, the interdisciplinary research is much more integrative and synergistic. However, the degree of integration between disciplines is high in interdisciplinary research. It is difficult to combine or integrate all the disciplines both in natural and social sciences. Some can easily be integrated while some cannot. In the theory of knowledge, some disciplines even in the natural sciences such as biology and chemistry can easily be integrated and come together to form a separate discipline in this case, biochemistry. Some are far distant from this possibility of integration. Based on epistemological proximity, disciplines often are grouped in knowledge creation. Within natural science, a combination of physical, chemical, and mathematical sciences is referred to as pure science, while combining chemistry, zoology, physiology, and botany is regarded as biological science. Likewise, economics, psychology, political science, and sociology are clustered under social sciences, while languages, arts, music, and history are clustered under humanities. Therefore, some are closer together in knowledge subsystems, and others are far away from each other. For instance, economics and music are too distant from each other to be merged. Some disciplines are used cutting across to understand the epistemological foundations of a single discipline. Philosophy and history are of such kind. Both of these are considered core disciplines for both natural and social sciences. Philosophy of science and history of science are used to understand the epistemological stance of science. Both these distinct disciplines are also used to understand the epistemological foundations of core disciplines and research in social sciences. In social sciences, integration happens between disciplines and also within the discipline. For instance, economics and sociology are well integrated, resulting in the emergence of economic sociology, 
while economics and geography are also merged as economic geography. Within a core discipline of economics, the discipline of psychology is used in economics to understand behavior, emerging as behavioral economics. Likewise, components and assumptions of political sciences are used to understand economic organization and institutions and emerged as institutional economics.